Carolyn, you can open things up. Yeah, well, it, it has been a big day in footy, Ed, and a dark day for the Collingwood Football Club, which sees their vice-captain and one of the best players in the competition, still side bottom, suspended for four weeks following some serious coronavirus breaches over the weekend. Uh, let's, and Lyndon Dunn, of course, has um, copped a week as well. Let's have a listen, before we speak to Ed about this, to the coach and the captain of Collingwood. He's quite embarrassed um, about the situation. Um, yeah, he's um, obviously remorseful about the decisions that were made, but he he's also in some way uh, confused about you know, what has taken place at, at some point. Um, obviously, with his drinking, that he's uh, made some poor decisions, but he in, in his recollection isn't that great. He's probably been. Um, yeah, hasn't been consuming as much alcohol and, and one of the theories is that he wasn't able to handle what he consumed at, uh, at Howie's place. The boys, you know, have, have mucked up and they've stepped out and they've breached some rules, but um, I don't think we need to, you know, dramatise the, the jeopardy of our whole football club or the jeopardy of the game. And it's a highly stressful environment this season, um, you know, even with the potential of hubs, things like that, I definitely have noticed the stress at our football club rise in the last seven to 10 days, having to deal with a lot of the unknowns, which is, you know, we, we still have very little information about what it looks like to move to Perth in potentially nine or 10 days. And Ed, Ross and Matthew, everyone copes with this differently and it's been incredibly tough on everyone. Reports, though, this afternoon in the Herald Sun that Steele was inebriated, found wandering the streets of Williamstown half naked by police, driven home in a divvy van. I think that was the area that really concerned the AFL because heaven knows what you could have... You know, obviously, this is a serious breach of protocols, even being in a divvy van. He's tested negative to coronavirus. Ed, you've got massive games coming up. You've got Essendon on Friday night, you've got potentially Brisbane next week and then Geelong and then one of the Perth teams. Probably Fremantle, yeah. Will you strip steel side bottom of the vice captain? No, that hasn't been uh, put on any agenda. Look, Will it, it be put on the agenda? I wouldn't think so, no, but we'll have a look at it in due course, but no is the answer. Um, look, here's the situation. Today, when offered, well, in, he was sanctioned with a four-match suspension, he could have and was asked if he wanted to appeal. He said, no, he wants to support the AFL. He made a mistake. He self-reported. He did the right thing by going to his teammate, Jeremy Howe's house, who had just blown his knee out, was turning 30 the next day. They sat down together. Lyndon Dunn came a bit later, which probably kept them going. And to be honest, uh, he's not a Scotch drinker, but they're having a few Scotches. And he became disorientated. And the situation was he ended up at, uh, at Wellesley's place, was asleep on the couch, got up, we believe, to go to the bathroom and walked out the wrong door and found himself outside, totally disorientated. Victoria Police came along and they said that his behaviour was, was exemplary. They drove him home. And the next day when he realised, when he woke up, to what happened, he self-reported. It is the vice captain of the football club. Every yeah, that, player that, yeah, has got a fifty-page dossier yeah, of what they can and can't do. He didn't mean to, Karen. He, of he, course, he, he didn't mean to. But yeah. you must be so disappointed, oh, well, disappointed at a time when you're the premiership favourite or one of the top three yeah. premiership favourites. This could derail your whole season. Will well, you take him to Perth? He will go to Perth. Yes. And you, you'll say again that you're not even looking at stripping him of a leadership uh, role for look, this year. People make mistakes. If they do, went, but you know, they but get no, punished Karen, for them too. Yeah, and he did, and he's taken it, and he's taken it on the chin. But in life, if people go out to try and blow things up, or they're selfish, or they deliberately do something, you take a different view on it. I've got empathy for his situation, and I think a lot of people watching tonight would have empathy as well. There'd be a lot of really disappointed Collingwood supporters. No, no, less, would say no, that no one more did, disappointed than and, me and or him. Still seems to me like a terrific bloke, but he's he really stuffed up here, and yeah. you would say he's let down. He's let down his Karen, teammates, I hasn't know, he? I don't think. He, I don't think, Karen. You don't have to prosecute the case. Everything you're saying is 100 percent right. Yep. Totally right, and no one's ducking it. And I think that's the point we want to make. There's no excuses being made here. He marked up big time. What is he, 250 game player? Yeah, it would be. He's been at the club since he was 17. Yeah. He's never had a problem. Leadership He's been group. a great leadership group. He's the vice captain of the club. He's in the best, three in the best and fairest every year. So he's not year. a recidivist. He turns up and wins the, 10, the five, 3K run every year until the last two years where he finishes second. Yeah. He's just had a bad night. But out. I think it's a, a shot over the bow for all clubs. Everyone. It's, so by community standards, he hasn't breached, but. By and standards. AFL, yeah, but AFL by, by AFL, signed, signed and what we're trying to do, keep the competition was. alive and the threat yep. the game's in, yep. it's a big breach. And you know, he, he accepted and that, spoke to Gil McLaughlin today and apologised right. for putting yeah. in jeopardy $600 million worth of AFL. And while we said today it's manifestly unjust compared to everybody else, 
every day of the week except this day of the no, week. And in the context of it, he deserved. He's copped his four weeks, yeah. and you move and on. That's right, Ed. But a few weeks ago, I remember you were shocked that how are these players doing these things? And I said, Ed, there'll be yeah. another one. There'll be another one. Yeah. And this is the point. The worrying thing is where you hear your coach say he has no recollection yeah. of what went on last night. So. I just think you do lose respect. As hard as it is, and he's a great bloke, we all know that, I think you lose respect when you are the vice-captain because he's going to have yep. to sit again in a situation on a younger player yep. and someone else, and that's where... It's but we're human. We all make well, I know errors. We are, Ross, he's put but, his hand but, up. But when he's, he's sitting there the and he is judging, of course he's accepted. Um, he, he can't do anything but, the but accept it. He has to accept it. I think the opportunity is beyond Collingwood. Yeah. I, I think it's identified the risk period yeah, for course. AFL clubs and players... Mainly is post game. So yeah. they've played, whether it's disappointment or euphoria off a win, they breathe out yeah. and they relax. So yeah. I think it, it's incumbent on the club and the leadership of the club to be able to check in more than you do and highlight your responsibilities as, as anal as it may be. That needs to happen yeah. more frequently because we all seem in good shape and then it comes out of nowhere. Yeah. So we need to check in and realign the leadership group. That may be happening, but if it's not, it needs to happen because. We're all at risk here. If you were captain, would you want him as your vice captain going forward oh, for this year? Anyway, you love these guys, Caro. You absolutely yep. love them and adore them. But again, when the next player walks, in, Jordan Dugowie walks in, and Steele and Scotty Penelbury are sitting there going, "What do we do?" I'd be embarrassed if I was Steele in this period of time, adjudicating on someone else. I don't think it works like that? that. I think 250 games, money in the bank, credibility. I've made a mistake. Yeah. But if you're putting your hand up every week, well, that's yeah. different. Yeah. But he's, he's clearly not doing that. Mm. Uh, the, the days, these days, it's, the media is very much, you could cure cancer and get a parking ticket on Monday, and the lead will be the parking ticket. Or I can speak uh, from my situation. Yeah. 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 Don't, don't, yeah, don't, turn, on yeah. don't turn, turn on the media. Don't turn on the media about this. Your, your Caroline, vice I'm captain has let you down. I'm not going in the and media. It, it, all I'm saying is Caroline, I hope it doesn't derail your season. Please, don't, don't, don't every week. But you are very back close up the media. to the I'm in the media too, and I know all its four bills. If, so if, you, if you can't see that this is a massive story. Well, of course it's a massive story, and nobody's saying it, but I'm just saying to Matthew, there's only been one person allegedly without sin, and they put him on a cross. So you've got to forgive but and have empathy along You're too close to this situation. No, I'm not. I'm, 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 yeah, you've got to love this it, guy, which is fine. And, and I reckon, I heard you three my, weeks ago, Ed, you said, how are these guys doing? I said, Ed, someone, Ollie Wines, it might have been. I'll say, you know what, someone else will make a mistake, Ed. And you're going, these players, no, how no, can no, they I do think, it? I think you're over-dramatising what I said. Exactly, I'd love to get it up if we could, because well, that's well, exactly well, what you said. You well, know, because Matt, you, it's, this he's is, made a massive... And you know what? What are you doing? Hang why are you going on the prosecution line here, mate? We're saying the guy's accepted his situation. Exactly, and he's made a mistake. Can we get on with it? That's yeah, right. OK, and that's what I just said. And I asked, was asked if I was going to sack him as vice-captain of the club, and I said but no. It'll be a consideration. I'd be shocked if it wasn't. Well, you can ask me, because I'm the president. And I said no. But it'll come down to bucks, I would have thought. Well, it'll still come back, but it comes back to the yeah, board. Yeah, that's right. And yeah. the answer is at the moment, no. Yeah. And the leadership group will have a say as well. And now, it comes back to the board, and we yeah, said no. That's right.